everyone and welcome back to Miss Carter's classroom. I'm really happy you managed to join me again. So today we've got some fun lessons for you but we're going to start by doing some English or literacy learning. Okay so hopefully you've been practicing the story map over here but if you haven't that's okay because we're going to do it now and see if we can remember some of those actions that we learned yesterday. Okay do you think you can join in with me? Super. So we start with our hands together and we're going to say the title of our story is The Leopard's Drum. One day there was a leopard called a Sibo who had a drum. First, the sky god Naomi wanted the drum, but a Sibo said no. Next, Onini the python wanted the drum, but Osibo said no. After, Isono the elephant wanted the drum, but Osibo said no. Then, Athroboa the monkey wanted the drum, but Asibo said no. Finally, <laughs> Achi Cherry, the tortoise, tricked Asibo to get inside the drum. Naomi said, Well done, and gave Achi Cherry a hard shell. The end. Super, well done for joining in. And we'll do that every single day, so hopefully you'll remember it off by heart and that's going to really help our writing in the next few lessons. Okay, well, today I have noticed Mr Hippo has got something. Shall I show you? Can you see what he's got? Hmm, Mr Hippo, what have you got there? Have a backpack, Mr. Hippo. Mm. This is going on an adventure. Wow, well, that does sound exciting. And you've got a few things inside, have you? Mm. Yes, he wants to go on an adventure into the rainforest or the jungle to see if he can spot any of our characters from the story The Leopard's Drum. And he's packed a backpack perfect for his adventure. Should we have a look inside? Is that okay? Good. Okay. So you pop yourself down there and I'm going to borrow your backpack if that's okay. There we go. Okay. So, should we have a look inside what Mr Hippo's got? And then we're going to have a go at writing what he's put in his backpack on our board. So maybe if you've got a pen and paper or a little whiteboard, you could do the same. We're going to try and use all of our sounds to work out what he's got. Mm. Oh, this is very exciting. The first one looks really good. What's in here? Oh, what do you think this one could be? Should we open it? Wow, Mr. Hippo, what do you think this is? That's right, it's a map. Whoa, okay. Do you think you can help me to spell the word map? Use your fingers to help you. Mm. important. Do you know why we might need a map? So we know where we're going. And it does look like and there's an X marks the spot there as well. So maybe you'll even find some treasure. <laughs> okay, let's see what else is in our backpack. Ooh, oh, this is very important. Do you know what this one might be? It's a passport. Passport. Why might you need a passport? Maybe you could talk to your friend or your teddy and see if they know why you might need a passport. Mm. If you need to go on an aeroplane or a boat across to a different country, you will need a passport. Do you think you can help me to spell passport? Ready? P R S P O R. Some people say the word pa 
pass a bit different. I say pass, you might say pass, but it's the A sound. Pass. Or passport. I might even underline some of the digraphs that you can spot. Can you see any? There we go. And we've got or, or, or. Shut the door as well. Excellent. What else have we got in here then? Ah, yes. This is important. Can you see what this one might be? Right, it's a purse. Why might we need a purse? Yeah, to buy things. Maybe if there's a shop in the rainforest, who knows? But even on the way, you might need to pick up a few bits. So we learned a little bit about a purse a few days ago in our phonics, didn't we? So it's got that er uh sound we've learnt. Can you help me? P, er, s. Ready? P, er. E on the end, which we've not learnt yet, but we can still put that sound button on there. Very good. What else do we have? Oh, this is very important. What do you think's in here? Water. Why might we need water for a big adventure? Yeah, to drink, isn't it? Very important. Now, water is quite a tricky word because it doesn't really have the sound that you expect, so look carefully. T, uh. mm -hmm. There might be a digraph that you know in that one, if you've learned all of those three, here at the end. We learnt the uh spelling here in purse, but we've also got it here, and there are a few spellings sometimes for different sounds, and they are two different ones there. Another look. A few more things to go. Ooh, what's this, Mr. Hippo? Oh. Ah. Bought a towel. That's not a bad idea. Why might Mr. Hippo need a towel? <laughs> well, he loves swimming. Hippos really enjoy being in the water. And I think he was hoping to go for a little dip in one of the rivers in the rainforest. So you need a towel to dry off. It's not a bad idea. Do you think you can help me with the word towel? You might have the sound that we learnt yesterday. T, ow, l. Ready? T, ow, l. Towel. T, ow, l. There we go. The ending of that word can be said a bit different as well. But well done for spotting. The ow sound. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this looks quite funny. What do you think you've got here then? It's very prepared. <laughs> ah, you've got a hat, have you? <laughs> I'll put that on you later. Maybe if it's chilly, we might need a hat. I'm sure you can help me with that word. Are you ready? to write down any of your adventures or any notes that you want to make along your way. That's not a bad idea. So I'll have a go at writing note. I wonder if you can write book or use your sounds to sound out book. Okay, are you ready to help me? B, B. See it in book. B book. Very good. I think we've got a couple more to have a little look at. Mm. Oh well, what do you need to do? What do you need, sorry, to write in your notebook? <laughs> a pen. <laughs> very good, very important. That would be quite annoying if you forgot that. Can you help me with pen then? P mm. F. Mm. Just 
have one last thing in here. Don't know if you can see what these are. <laughs> They're little sort of biscuit things. And it's quite important that you bring water, but some food. Otherwise, you're going to get very hungry because I don't think there's going to be many shops or restaurants or cafes in the rainforest. So don't forget to pack some food. Can you help me with food? Food. Food. I might squeeze it in right at the bottom. Food. Super. Can you spot a digraph in food? Yeah, it's here. We'll have a look. They're the same, aren't they? But do they make the same sound? Listen carefully. Book. B book. And food. It's another one of those tricky ones to learn, isn't it? It's got two different sounds. The th uh sound and the oo sound. The best way is just to try them both out and see which one sounds the best. Wow, look at that. We've helped Mr Hippo write down a list of all of the things that he has taken or he will take on his adventure into the rainforest. Do you think we can help him by reading them? Are you ready? Get your reading finger out and read with me. One, two, three. M, a, p, map. P, a, s, p, ort. Port, passport. P, a, s, purse. W, ort, water. T, a, w, l, towel. Note, b book, book, notebook, p e n pen, and the last one, f u d, food. Very good. You could even write the word backpack or bag as well if you could squeeze that on your page as well. That would be super. So. That's the end of our lesson. You've done a really good job at helping Mr. Hippo out. I wonder if you could have a go at going on an adventure yourself today. So see if you could find a bag of your own. It doesn't have to be a backpack, it could even be a handbag. And see if you can go around your house and fill up with things that you think you might need for a big adventure. Then if it's safe to do so and you've got an adult to help you, you could even go outside and on, a, on an adventure or you could go into your garden or have a mini adventure in your role play area or inside your house. I would love to see some pictures of you on your adventure. So please try and take a picture or you could send me your list. And have a really good day and I'll see you later for some math learning. Bye bye.